Here we are with the Flash Polaroid XML Photo Gallery, very dynamic action script tutorial provided by MasterFlash.net. This is only a sample video showing you bits and pieces of what's a part of the actual tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drop you in right in the beginning of the tutorial and just uh, let it play out for a few minutes. We are not going to be doing anything on the stage for this one. It's all specifically going to be through ActionScript. There's only one thing that we really need to do as far as our properties for um, or for our published settings inside of here. So if you need to get your properties window out, come up here to window, grab properties, select that. Come on down here to your published settings. And let's go ahead and change our action script version down to one. Just kidding. We're going to uh, use action script 3.0. All right. Um, just go ahead and click on this uh, settings box in here. And we need to take the strict mode off. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to do it. And we also need to take off the stage. Now, I haven't tested it with the stage on here. I know that the strict mode won't work. Um, but what we're going to be doing for this, we don't want to uh, declare the stage instances. We're basically going to be creating one movie clip that is going to kind of multiply by creating, obviously, like a, a loop equation that will, um, you know, basically use the same instance name over and over, and we want to be able to do that. So make sure that you have the strict mode deselected and the automatically declare stage instance instances deselected also. All right, just hit OK. You can uh, pu punch up your JPEG quality if you want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come into my HTML just for later when I go to uh, put this up on the site. I'm going to set this to best. And I generally do that in most of these tutorials just because, one, it does look better, and two, it creates a higher file size, which isn't necessarily a good thing, but as long as it looks good. Okay, so we're all set. Go ahead and put a uh, actions layer up here. Name it whatever you want. Like I said, we're not going to be doing anything in here. We're uh, all action script for this one. Okay, um, here's what we're going to do. Uh, to start this off, what we have to do is import. Well, later on in the file, obviously we won't be able to do this until the end. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying the drop shadow and some transitions from the transition manager. So we're going to go ahead and import all that stuff in here. All right. So for the drop shadow, what we're going to do is import flash dot filters dot drop shadow filter semicolon all right next line let's say import fl dot transitions dot asterisk semicolon import fl dot transitions dot easing dot asterisk semicolon all right it's probably the easiest the code is going to get all right, so for the first thing that we need to do is we need to find an X and Y axis on the stage where we want our images to start. Now, for this one, so I can have it fitting on stage and you guys can actually see it, I'm basically going to start it right around here at uh, the X axis of 40 and the Y axis of 20. Oh, I had it. Well, anyway, somewhere in there. So that's how you can basically start this off all right if you want to uh, set it up down the stage down here obviously you'd set the x at 120 y at 433 okay i'm assuming that uh some of you know what that means so um let's go ahead and get rocking on this all right so uh here's what we're just gonna say i'll just put some notes in here all right and you know, what I usually do is create some long ass variable names that generally, obviously it's probably a little overboard, but overall it does help explain what we're doing throughout the action script. And uh, so we do definitely have a lot of variable names and long variable names to write. So I'm gonna put uh, X axis equals 40 semicolon display underscore on underscore Y axis equals 20 semicolon. Of course, you can set that up to whatever you want. We need to uh, name the name of our XML, basically create a variable name for it. All right, so uh, okay, so we're going to say var image underscore list colon XML semicolon.
I won't always write these notes, but uh, just to start this off to kind of get you comfortable, it's what I generally do. So, uh, and tell it the file path. Okay. So what we need to say here is a uh, variable name that will be the loader for the XML. So we're going to say XML underscore loader colon URL loader equals new URL loader. Opening closing parentheses semicolon XML loader dot add event listener. Opening parentheses event dot uh, complete in all caps comma. <coughs> Excuse me. And what we need to do here is come up with a function name or a variable name to define later as a function. So we're going to say win underscore XML underscore loader underscore is complete. And uh, we only have to type that one more time. So actually, you can go ahead and copy this if you wanted. We're going to get to this in a minute. We won't use it for a couple minutes, but keep it on deck. All right. Uh, so right here, what we need to do is, you know, direct it to our file path. So we're going to say XML underscore loader dot load, opening parentheses, new URL request, opening parentheses, quotation marks, name our uh, XML file, load underscore images underscore gallery. And I realized that I may have not have told you what to call your XML file just now. So Really, this is it. All right, this is how I named my uh, XML file. Obviously, you saw that from inside of here. And uh, my bad on that one. Usually, I'm on top of it. All right. Um, all right, so what we need to do is basically just go ahead and, and define what this is. All right. So we're going to say uh, function win underscore XML underscore loader underscore is complete. Opening parentheses event colon event. Uh, closing parentheses, colon, void, opening bracket. Here's how we're going to set this up. Try, opening bracket, image, underscore, list, equals, new, XML. Uh, opening parentheses, event, dot, target, dot, data. Closing parentheses, semicolon. That is the end of the sample video for Flash Polaroid XML Photo Gallery. You can locate the source files and the rest of the video tutorial on masterflash.net. Hope you enjoy it.